Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through creating your first skill for Amazon Alexa using Alexa hosted skills. But before you spend any more time, look at the video description and make sure there isn't a link to an updated version of this video. This stuff changes really, really quick, and uh, I don't want you watching an outdated version of the tutorial. I think this is like the sixth or the seventh revision of this tutorial that I've done over the past few years. So make sure it's the most current one. If you don't see a link, then it is. I'm going to move pretty quickly and this is all about just kind of showing you how to get started with your very first skill. If you want to dive deeper, if you go to youtube.com slash dabble lab, there are uh, over 150 other tutorials that can help you out and you can dive deeper with those. So with that, let's get into it. You need an Alexa or excuse me, an Amazon developer account, which you can get from developer.amazon.com and that is all you need. If you if you have one, then you can go slash Alexa to log in. If you don't have one, you can set one up. If you're setting up a, a developer account, use the email address that you use for your um, Amazon Echo device if you have one. If you don't have one, that's fine. But if you do have one, um, use that because that will let you use the device when you do the testing. And once you've created an account and you've logged in at developer.amazon.com slash Alexa, you will go to your Alexa skills console and your list of skills. And if you're just setting this up for the first time, you won't have anything in your list, but you will have this create skill button here. And that's what we're going to use. The first thing that you need to do is you need to name your skill. And we'll, I'm going to call this um, my hosted skill. And we're creating a custom skill, which is selected by default. Uh, and then down here, the how you're going to host the skill, this is new. So we're going to use this Alexa hosted beta. And this is why I'm updating this tutorial, because this makes things just a lot easier, especially if you're just getting started. So you want to select Alexa hosted skill beta. and. If you if you build a skill that becomes really popular, you will have to move the back end to out of this here. This is all provided free, um, but it's up to like a million requests. So your, your skill needs to be doing pretty well. If you get to that point, they give you 30 days to move the, uh, the skill to your own hosting. And that's usually done through uh, AWS, Amazon Web Services and that's stuff that I get into in other tutorials. If you, I'll leave some links to that stuff in, in case uh, you're interested. Then you would go create skill, and now the uh, the skill is being built. And this takes a minute, so I am going to uh, pause and come back. Okay, so now the uh, the skill is all built, and we are ready to start testing and editing, or editing and testing, whichever we want to do first. We'll um, we'll test first to show you. So there's kind of a uh, just a, a really basic hello world skill that's set up for you, and that's what we're going to be editing. But first, we'll just test what we get by default, and you want to go to the test tab here, and then enable testing uh, by selecting development. And you can test right in here. If you have uh, an Echo, you can also use your Echo to test. Um, I'll show in here first. So um, open my hosted skill. Welcome. You can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Let's say hello. Hello world. And th this is all this skill does by default. So we do have a working skill right now. It's just like a super basic working skill. So if we want to make some changes, we can access the code by going to the code tab here. And all of our code is here and there's a, uh, a nice little code editor. And even if you're not familiar with, um, this is JavaScript, so this is Node.js that's used uh, in the, the, the default here, and I think that's the only, JavaScript or Node is the, at, at this point, the only language that you can use for hosted skills. And so, but you can, uh, you can sort of figure out what's going on here pretty easily. We'll make a, a quick change, so when the skill is open, this is what we get as the prompt, welcome, uh, you can say hello or help. And I'll just change this just to show you the process. Hi, what's your name? Uh, change, change this just so I can make this work. Uh, 
Uh, so that's going to be our prompt when the skill is opened up. And down here, just to keep it simple, uh, nice to meet you. Okay, so I've made some really simple code changes. I save my changes first. And when I save my changes, this doesn't do anything other than keep the, the code that I'm working on saved if I want to actually see the changes. So like right now, if I test, and this time I'll test using my Echo device. Alexa, open my hosted skill. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Hello. Hello world. So you can see nothing's changed. So, um, and that's because even though I've changed the code, I haven't deployed it. So after you make a change to the code, then you would deploy it. And then once it's done deploying, then it will be available for testing. And let's try that out. So Alexa, open my hosted skill. Hi, what is your name? Steve. Nice to meet you. And that is it. That is uh, a really, really quick introduction to creating your very first skill using Alexa hosted skills. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I will respond uh, just as quickly Sorry, as I can. I know that one. <laughs> if you are um, interested in diving deeper, go to uh, youtube.com slash dabble lab and there are over 150 other tutorials that um, dive much, much deeper into this stuff. So. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like the video. And if you are looking for more, please go uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.